Hey, welcome to our fifth installment, I think it is, something something like that. Uh, it's basically uh, uh, it's a continuation of our uh, internet browser segment, uh, Internet Explorer Alternatives. Uh, the first and foremost, or, or second if you will, if you were following us from the Firefox video, uh, is going to be the... Uh, Apple Safari uh, internet browser. It's a browser that is uh, distributed by uh, Macintosh or Apple. Um, you can download directly from their website. Let me go ahead and, and uh, launch the launch my Mozilla Firefox. And uh, let me get this to a size that you guys will be able to view. And here we go. So we'll just go. We'll pop into. Uh, All right, we'll just go to apple.com, and you can actually search for Safari from Apple, and Safari for Mac, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Let's see, probably be easier if we did a Google search. Uh, let's go. Click on Safari. Safari 5 free download. You can download directly from uh, uh, from Apple, Apple.com, and you can go ahead and click on the download button. Uh, this is for Windows 7. Uh, we can go ahead and hit download. Uh, but without wasting too much of your time, I've already downloaded it, and uh, we can go ahead and start the installation process. So I've got my little utility CD that I've already got packed with all kinds of great little utilities that we'll be discussing in future episodes. But for the time being, we'll go ahead and launch the Apple Safari installer from my CD. And the default uh, settings would be fine. Just click Next. Yes, you do accept the terms, because if not, it won't install. Uh, you can install the uh, uh, Safari desktop shortcut. And you can also install the Bonjour service. Now, the Bonjour service is uh, the uh, Apple networking protocol, and it'll allow Safari to connect, or your computer actually, to connect with other uh, Macintosh friendly devices that support the Bonjour protocol. So go ahead and hit install and let it fire away. Install, it'll only take a minute or two. Once it actually goes through the process of installing, then it'll probably ask to import your favorites and bookmarks. So uh, we'll probably just go ahead and skip that. Uh, hopefully, this oh, it's asking me to OK the Safari installation. Copying new files. and open Safari when the installer and click finish. So once it actually launches, it's just like another browser. You can set your preferences uh, within Safari by going over the settings option. I've got Google as my home page. By default it actually makes uh, uh, it's prompting me to make it my default browser. At this point uh, I'm gonna unselect the always perform this check and say no I prefer Mozilla Firefox uh, but you can set your preferences here. Uh, you go into your settings up in the uh, upper right hand corner and go into preferences and you can uh, set all of your settings and now each option you know uh, performs a different uh, duty or specification. You can go into advanced options, you can do the extensions if you can turn them on or off. You can also get extensions just like the Mozilla Firefox product from apple.com various providers they've got all of the extensions uh, you know that you would need uh, it's almost kinda like mini apps or uh, well it's exactly what it is it's it's an extension it basically extends the uh, uh, the Apple Safari um, browser but uh, 
once again it's just another alternative to Internet Explorer uh, that you can use uh, if uh, IE is really not your cup of tea so uh, you know you can set your search options as well uh, you can do Google search I don't know let's see let's uh, Let's go to Opera, which is probably going to be a great. Uh, this will probably be a good lead-in for the app, Opera browser, uh, and you can download and install that one as well. So we'll go ahead and click on the download option. It'll ask to where you want to save it. By default, I believe it'll save it into your downloads folder. Yeah, right into downloads. So we can minimize that. I as well have the Opera uh, software, Opera browser here, and we'll go ahead and launch that. And say yes. It's a pretty quick little install as well. If you're running Windows uh, 7 or Windows Vista, it'll probably prompt you to uh, OK. I'm going to uncheck the set Opera as a default browser. It'll probably um, ask you, you know, uh, the security uh, regarding uh, allowing the installation. Just go ahead and click yes, which I'm waiting for now, because Windows 7 is uh, will be prompting me here shortly. Just click us yes, and then let it go. Let it fly. Uh, once again, it prompts you to, uh, uh, you know, or it prompts you to see if you want to make the browser your uh, your default. Uh, I, I once again, just to reiterate, I like the F Mozilla Firefox browser. And there you go. Uh, Opera is now installed. So let's click on the home page. There you go. It takes us. That should have been what you would have saw after. You go to the home page, um, but there it is. There's another uh, alternative that you can uh, that you can utilize instead of Internet Explorer. Uh, once again, just to kind of remind you that uh, you know each browser does uh, render web pages slightly different, um, but for the most part, uh, most of your Plugins such as Java and Flash, etc., 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 should work with all of your browsers. Um, one other one that we just saw, um, the SeaMonkey browser. This one's really nice. I'm not going to go into it too much, but you can actually uh, download this as well. But this one is actually really nice because it ties in an email client along with uh, your. Um, along with your browser so you could actually you don't have to run multiple applications such as Outlook and Mozilla or Outlook and Internet Explorer uh, if uh, this doesn't take too long maybe I'll just run the, through a quick install of SeaMonkey which is also another browser uh, alternative that works really well and obviously it's made by Mozilla uh, it's got just like Mozilla it's got the add-ons and extensions that you can plug into it. And if I'm, uh, let's see if they do have Fire FTP for, which is one of my favorite extensions. No, so it's probably not being written for Sea Monkey, but I'm sure they have some sort of FTP extension that you could use somewhere in there. Anyways, once again, just another uh, browser alternative uh, to... Uh, what's this asking me? Uh, cancel that. I'm in the middle of a download. We're still waiting on SeaMonkey to download. So we'll go there. Now I didn't include it in my utilities disk, but nonetheless, once again, uh, Mozilla uh, 
you know, uh, Mozilla has produced another browser called SeaMonkey, which ties in both an email client and your browser, which is a great little alternative as well to Internet Explorer. Uh, I mean, just to kind of wrap up, you know, a couple of the things we covered: Apple Safari, Opera 10, real quick installation, nothing fancy there. You can get extensions for all uh, three of the browsers. Uh, and with that being said, I want to take this opportunity to thank everybody, wish them a happy uh, new year, and uh, once again, I just thank you very much for watching these video series. I know they're <laughs> they're really quick or they're really uh, uh, brief, but this is just really to kind of give you an idea of what's out there on the web that can help you and your productivity. Thanks, and have a great afternoon.